Hey guys, uh, this is a video breaking down the sprawl. And this is one of the things that we teach in our control tactics class, uh, course, I should say. So the sprawl is important because obviously we don't want to be ground fighters when we're on duty. And we got full gear, we got vests, we got weapons. And typically in the street fights, ground fighting is just uh, frowned upon. So guys, you got to want to stay on your feet. You want to be able to stay, be mobile. This is just teaching the sprawl technique. I'll have them grab my right leg. And what I want to do is I'm teaching my, my, my students, basically what I want to do is puts a lot of weight on him. All my weight fully go down. If you notice, my right leg kind of backs up. What I want to do is create an angle. The angle with my leg, we're looking at my hips. My hips, I'm driving them to the ground. The reason I'm driving it to the ground is because uh, he has leverage. Right now he has this right here. This is the his arm is close to his chest. He has leverage. He could use his body mechanics. He could finish the takedown when he's close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate that by pressing my hips down towards the ground. I put him in extension. Now what we have is full extension right here of the arm. He's not as strong, therefore it's difficult for him to take the takedown. So if you notice my hips, press them straight down. He loses the the the, um, the grip there, and that's important. Now you can see his head. My left hand is actually going to be on his head. Now let's focus on my right hand. My right hand is going to be a barrier, a barrier for his left hand because that left hand is still has the capability of still grabbing onto my either my weapon, my thigh, or finish the takedown if he's aggressive and pursues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the barrier. I'm going to push his arm to the ground. Now if you notice, nut my knees. My hips or nothing's on the ground. The only thing touching the ground are my toes. And that's important because all of my weight, my chest being the pivot point on his back, I'm putting all my weight on my chest to push him down, to keep him down as I pivot around. And the reason I'm pivoting it around is I'm going to a safe area, which is towards the arc of dominance. I'm grabbing an angle. And right here I have the ability to either disengage, to create a better offense, to use arch, the arc of dominance, uh, to grab his back, whatever the case may be, scenario base, of course, and I'm circling it around, and then I'm going to exit out. So it's important that I'm at full extension. My toes are as far away from his hands as possible. My hips as high as I can bring them. So notice that he has no chance to really grab me. I set my barrier as my hand. My hand right there, I put the barrier down. Hover over, put a lot of weight on there, get to a, a, where I believe to be a safe angle. He has no chance of grabbing, and then I'm going to almost do a push-up on him and then press myself up to safety. And that right there, that's a good sprawl. That's what we teach, guys. Control tactics. Thanks, guys.